you know, for those of you that are a little confused and perplexed as to why we're going through this whole process for server-side include, it's kind of like you're saying, well, I get it, but I don't get it. Why don't you just build the whole process in the page? Why go through these separate files and then keep track of them, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera? Well, here's, here's the deal here, guys, okay? First of all, if you know anything about the way I work here, I like to squeeze the sponge on time. One thing we can always do in life, we always make more money, but we can't make up more time. Once that second minute has gone, it's gone forever. So I, time is money to me. I want to squeeze the sponge. I don't like to reinvent the wheel. So let's paint the scenario here. Let's say that this was tied to a 120-page website. Well, first of all, if you do a 120-page website, that you'd probably want to do dynamic pages like PHP that are tied to MySQL, which I have a whole video series on that, which, by the way, my thinklearn.com website, the new CSS6, Dreamweaver CX, CS6 videos coming out, includes all the PHP, MySQL, e-commerce stuff, et cetera, et cetera. So let's, let's understand something. So let's say this is tied to a 20-page website, 30-page website. In fact, let's say it's now tied to a 30-page website, and it's now 2013. Well, I have a couple of choices here. I could go to my template. I could change 2012 to 2013, but then I have to physically update those pages, plus I didn't have to physically upload those pages. I don't want to have to do that. Why do you want to do that? So... Now, if it's 2013, I can just go to my footer page and change this to 2013. Now, the only thing I have to do here, guys, is upload this new page change I made. Not upload the main parent page or the main parent pages, the 30, 40 pages I don't have to touch. I just need to upload this page. So, Command Shift U, Control Shift U, Windows. Upload file, file upload. Now, if you're not sure about FTP, I have a whole video series on FTP. Okay, so here's my file, and it says 2012. But if I refresh the page, because I just uploaded the footer page, and if I refresh that, what does it say in the bottom? It says 2013. Brilliant, perfect. So this could have been tied to 30, 40, hundreds of pages. I just need to upload that one change to the page. Okay, so let's see how we update our menu. So as an example, here's our page with our menu. Now this is a very common thing to happen. You're all set to get paid, the client is okay to everything, but the last minute they say, oh, you know what? I totally forgot about the customer service link and the shipping link and the FAQ link. Well, uh, you're like, well, yeah, okay, I'll, I'll fix that. So now I already have 30 pages built. So now I have to go into each page and add the link or go to the template and add the links and then update the links, et cetera, et cetera. I don't have to do that if I have the menu tied to server side include. All I need to do is go to my menu file, okay, go to design mode. I'm going to take this word content, contact rather, copy it, hit the return key, once, twice, three times. Okay, now this is just going to a pound symbol, guys. You would still have to create that page. You still have to create that physical new shipping page and the physical new um, customer service page and the physical new FAQ page. Well, that's a given. Obviously, there's no magic way to do that. Okay, so we're going to double click here. And again, this is just the the, the slug page, if you want to look at it that way. This is the server side include page. So we're going to type in shipping, S H I P P I N G. We're going to type in customer service. We're going to type in F A Q, et cetera, et cetera. All I need to do is save the changes, go up here and upload the page. Now, I don't have to publish this in a browser window. I don't want to see this page in a browser window. I just want to upload it to the server. So Command Shift U uploads or Control Shift U Windows. Dependent files, well, there is no dependent files for this file. So I hit no. Okay, so back in my browser. Okay, here's my unupdated page because I haven't hit the refresh button. But since I uploaded the new 
menu page here, all I have to do is refresh the page and there is my new navigation. Simply done. Now, you'd have to do some CSS changes because this is two lines of text. So you have to copy, fit it correctly. That's a whole other subject at this point. Okay, But it's very, very simple to basically have SSI pages. Only criteria necessary in this particular case. Okay, So in this particular case, the only thing that's necessary is the parent page itself, which is the feeder page, if you want to look at it that way. The parent page has to have an dot shml suffix dot shml that's the only criteria that's necessary now again if these are php pages you can just have a php server side included inside of a php page nothing else is required nothing else is necessary so server side included is a very very powerful technique here now this type here is like mucho grande way too big in honor of cinco de mayo here that's my accent of spanish by the way well, a couple other things I know, like Porquito and KRS and, you know, the important stuff to us, to us, we would need to, for those women out there, you know, et cetera, et cetera. Okay. So we're going to double click the header tag, H1 tag, and this is set to, this is set to 1.6 M spaces. So let's make it 1.4 M spaces. Okay. And then the H2 tag, let's double click and let's set that to 1.2 M spaces. So again, I can't overemphasize this enough. The child tags, the ones that you're importing into the page, they just have markup. They just have tags, but they don't have CSS. In fact, let's review a few things. The, the feeder pages, the page that you're going into, are simply just content. There's no additional markup here. It's simply the content. Because once it gets into the parent page, it's going gonna, it's gonna to assume the CSS rules for that page. So that's how I would suggest doing that. So thanks for sharing uh, your time with me, spending your time with me. And uh, get to know server side include. It's another production technique that's going to help you every step of the way. Definitely follow me on Facebook, fb.com forward slash think, learn, earn. Follow me on Twitter, twitter.com forward slash think, learn, earn. And also go to my think, learn, earn .com website and buy my new CS6 tutorials, it'll be out in about 10 days. I can't wait. I've been working on it for about seven months now, six, seven months, and I can't release them until the software is going to be released. That's the deal I have with Adobe. Okay, so Carpe Diem, enjoy the day, guys. Also, I've gotten some feedback from people saying, well, you know, even though 100, my video series, by the way, is 109 bucks, and that's a special offer for the first 200 people, which I haven't reached yet. But I do have people that say, well, that's still a lot of money for me right now. So I'm going to be launching a subscription base where you can pay, say, $39 a month. $39, I'm sorry, for three months. And you can cancel any time. So if that helps your budget a little bit, I'm probably going to roll all that out sometime this weekend. Give me feedback on that. Tell me what you think, if that's more economically feasible for most of you guys. I'm going to offer my new CS6 videos for $39 for three months. So therefore, you can basically download the files, enjoy the video series. You get three months of access for $39 for those of you that can't afford the $109 fee up front, which covers you for 18 months. If you do the math, the value is, is a much better value. By $39 a month, I, or $39 for three months, not per month, $39 covers you for 90 days. So talk to you soon, Carpe Diem, and uh, comment, like my video, follow me on Facebook, all that stuff. You guys heard the speech before. Talk to you soon. Enjoy your day.